Beijing, they are basically saying that they will treat foreign companies fairly on an even plane with local companies. This is coming out of China's uh, development uh, forum. So that kicked off, I think, on Sunday. And then you've also got Apple's um, Tim Cook, who as an, says that the Apple Vision Pro will go on sale later on in China this month. He's very bullish. We had that um, uh, clip we played yesterday where he said he loves China and so on and so forth. But we spoke with Anne Stevenson Yang from Westbrook, uh, Connecticut in the United States. Uh, we asked her her thoughts on whether or not China can be taken at its word on treating foreign firms equally with local firms. We also asked her about Tim Cook's attitude to China and we got her thoughts on the TikTok saga uh, in the United States. Here she is. I'm, I'm sure that they intend that, and um, y you know they've been trying for quite a while to uh, to create a level playing field. But just think about it, Rodas. I mean, you go to China as a foreigner, you can't pay for a cab because you can't get you can't have a Chinese bank account, and you can't use your foreign bank account to uh, to get a WeChat account. So you have to use the subway, but the subway requires a passport and they don't all have scanners for passports. I mean, there are just so many little impediments to being a foreigner and to being foreign business in China. Wow. So I guess, it, 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 does that mean it would take time for China to, to treat foreign companies uh, equally with, with local ones, with those challenges you're pointing out? I think it's a matter of time. After all, it's been you know almost fifty years. It's that that there are other priorities that China has. For example, holding foreign currency in the country and not letting people export it. So that takes priority over over having foreign companies, you know, find it easy to to establish accounts and and move money around. Gotcha. Uh, so I guess with um, with the exodus we've seen of foreign firms, even with you know, foreign capital out of the Chinese equity markets, do you still think that these pressures will remain uh, with foreign firms being a bit skittish about doing business in China? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look at how the, uh, the, the big asset managers, whether they're private or public, are all kind of um, moving away from China and they're putting, you know, 10 to 15% of their assets for an Asia fund in China, but not more. They're, everybody's cautious. Gotcha. Okay. So with that in mind, then, what do you make of Tim Cook's bullish uh, remarks? He was at the development forum. He spoke on stage. He said they plan on releasing the um, Apple Vision Pro in China later on this year. He says he loves Chinese people. I mean, is he just, you know, playing to the gallery to, you know, favor his business? Um, well, what do you make of Tim Cook's comments and the plan for Apple in China? No, I mean, what what else are you going to say? I mean, Tim Cook is is one of the the few you know serious adults in the in the tech business out of the U.S. Um, and he's very Apple is very exposed to China. It doesn't mean that they're not trying to move a bunch of their production into India. They've already told Foxconn that they that they need to do that. Looking at Vietnam as well, but you know, an, an organization like Apple is just not that easy. You know, you, there's no way they're going to be moving everything out of China. So that basically that means that the supply chains and so on are so embedded in there, it would, it would take time to, to completely leave or they're still going to at least be there while diversifying elsewhere? Yeah, I think that what what you're seeing is companies want to spread their risk. So so they don't want to, you know, there are plenty of problems in other countries too. Like suppose you move all your production to India, but, you know, India is a very fractious place with with landowners and uh and you know democratically um uh empowered people and you know it's not that easy to get scale whereas in china basically the government helps you move all these these workers in and suppresses their wages and you know has them produce your phones at, at low prices you know L low prices for land for capital for people you know there's a lot a lot to be said for china from the point of view of a corporation Gotcha. Um, I do. I have to get your thoughts on what's been going on with TikTok um, and the U.S. Uh, House passing a, a bill to force ByteDance to sell TikTok. Uh, the, the Chinese suggest that they're not going to do it. And we, I don't even know if it's going to pass the Senate. How are you assessing everything? Do you think it'll pass the Senate? Do um, you think it'll become law? What happens if that was, the, you know, if that takes place? How are you seeing this whole TikTok situation? 
Well, I mean, there are a lot of a lot of issues um, getting through. There's a lot of op opposition in the Senate. I mean, a lot of senators correctly say that the U.S. needs to regulate everybody on the internet and regulate its own companies, and and that's very true. Uh, the the problem is that that I, I think that that people miss the biggest issue with TikTok, which is the acquisition of uh, of personal data, because foreign you know Chinese companies. Look at Didi, for example, have been shown to gather way more data than is than is actually necessary, and the data is accessed in Beijing, not in in the U.S. So I think it's pretty clear that TikTok needs to uh, to 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 be divested from from ByteDance. You know, does the rest of the U.S. internet, you know, like Facebook and Meta, need to be better regulated? Of course. Gotcha. Fine. I know. I know. We already talked about this. You said you believe that uh, Joe Biden will win the election uh, in November. But whether it's him or or Trump, do you still see pressure on China in the new uh, U.S. and whether it's a Biden or Trump administration? Oh, absolutely. It's the one. It's the one. Uh, you know, bilateral uh, agreement, or 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 let's say. Um, uh, it, it's the one. The one area on which Democrats and Republicans uh, agree. That everybody is is down on China. So uh, so whether it, it it was which was Trump, you know, God forbid, or Biden, <laughs> it will definitely um, you know be be a, not a good time for China.